I didn't express any interest in Aaron at all. There was no romantic involvement. There was no flirting. Um, the Lord started giving me dreams of like me being engaged to him in certain ways. It was just, it was amazing. He wasn't sure of how to move. He wasn't sure of timing. He wasn't sure if he should say anything. I knew nothing that Ruel had any interest in me. Now I sought my parents. I tell him everything <laughs> when it comes to like guys I like. Ever since Aaron's been a little girl, we've been praying for her, uh, her lifetime partner. She would tell me that she had a crush on him and I would just be like, well, you know, let's just trust the Lord. We don't know what's happening. And when I met Aaron, uh, I said, well, this is going to be, this is her. This is the wife. The next step that I already had resolved in my heart was to approach your father, not her. Ruel and I had already had a relationship because we'd been hanging out now for a few months. I was so um, frightened that I was going to make the wrong decision. And then, you know, that, I mean, that's a big decision. I, was just, I just saw how the Lord was just orchestrating, putting all these pieces together. So we sat down and, and, uh, and he began to share his heart. And uh, so I, in the back of my mind, I already know that Aaron has interest in him. That he was grinning so much he had to duck his head under the, under, you know, inside the car. He duck his head so people would see him grinning. <laughs> her friends would, would ask her, isn't that weird that, that you're, you're having all this conversation with your parents that you're not having any one-on-one -on -one time? And her response is, I don't have anything to hide. So this whole process has been me growing closer to the Lord as I'm growing closer to Him. Now when I met Bill and Cindy, you know, I, met, I said, these guys are wild. You know, because it's like they have an anointing for you. This is so not normal.